y'all, it's Gator Bomb BC here, and I have been trying and trying to make this video. I, uh, but anyway, here we go. Uh, I know I don't normally put my face out there, and I didn't put on any makeup or anything, but whatever. I decided to make a New Year's resolution, like a 2013 New Year's resolution tag video. I saw Living Poor did it, so Living Poor, if you're watching, this video is for you, and I thought it was a great idea. He did a, a kind of like a couponing resolution, and he challenged his subscribers to do the same as a response, and so I figured, hey, I'd do it. So that's, you know, my New Year's resolution is to grow my stockpile and to organize my house so that I have room to grow my stockpile. I have a garage, but I think we've already decided that we're not going to stockpile in the garage. We're going to keep it inside the house, so i got to make use of some closet areas, some space like that. So I'm not really a, you know, I'm not an extreme couponer. I'm not a seasoned couponer. I taught myself this summer on YouTube, and, you know, watching all kinds of YouTubers, I Googled it, and I think I Googled extreme couponing, and then I started watching some of those shows. You know, I don't really watch TV, but I do watch YouTube. And I caught on to this chick called um, Sue Cup Family 33950, which is right around the corner from me. And she gave me a lot of cool uh, couponing tips. Her channel, I think, is Extreme Couponing for Normal People. Very good channel. And then from there, I started watching other YouTubers, and I found folks like Pinch and Penny and um saving with veta love saving with veta and um soldier girl her coupon resolution her her new year's resolution she's running like 10 15 miles a day i gotta say more power to you soldier girl i need to run but that's not my resolution i'm not doing it um anyway there's lots of great folks out there so i figured i'd do a video and you know see what i do so if i look a mess sorry i put my m m hat on because my hair is a mess but I'm going to show you my stockpile, and you are just going to laugh because you're going to be like, how does this chick even call herself a couponer with a stockpile like this? But it is what it is. I got two excuses for why I'm, my stockpile is so bad. One, I got a kid in college, and she just left a couple days ago, and I did send her up with a ton of food. She's not on a meal plan, and so, you know, She's couponing her way through college, and I'm helping her with that. It's actually why I started couponing. You know, when you're buying for two houses with the same amount of money, actually 3% less because I'm a public employee in Florida. They just took 3% out of my check this year. So uh, when that happens, you have to make good use of your money. And so that's where I am. So I'm going to show you my coupon um, stockpile, and I'm going to show you some of my projects. And what I'm going to start with is, this is my normal food closet. I hope this video is not too close. Anyway, there it is. So, that's where we keep, like, you know, the food that we use and that we're touching all the time and that we open. And, you know, I do have a little bit of a stockpile going there. I got my Capri Suns. I think I got, like, ten boxes the other day uh, with coupons. They were only, I think, 70 cents a box. And I did an amazing deal at CVS with PepsiCo products this week. Buy 30, get 10. And I literally got nine 12 packs, 18 2 liters. And I, if I spent $5, I'm stretching it on the soda part. I bought a bunch of stuff. Um, Publix, I just recently filled this closet back up. You know, with the holidays, there wasn't a lot of money. And so we lived off our stockpile. And then we used the money to Christmas shop, you know. But here's the other stockpile. And this is what I'm going to change. This is my overflow stockpile and it's usually packed in here it just gave a lot to my daughter but this is going to come out of here and we're going to move that to this closet so i'm going to show you this closet this is my project yeah we're doing it again i know my daughter's like you're doing the video again but there's the closet it's a toy closet and she's come in here and she started to organize and get it together and we're going to move all of these toys out of here and we're going to find a better place to organize them in her room and then I'm going to use this for my stockpile for food or for shampoo and stuff I'm not sure you know it's a work in progress but now I'm going to show you my stockpile and it is embarrassing I got to tell you because I now remember I I gave away a lot of stuff I made gift baskets for the holidays and I gave our family razors and shampoo and stuff like that but and then I gave away a lot at the school where I teach 
I, I decided to teach a couponing class at night, and, you know, I'm a teacher, so positive motivation. You know, you give the kids little treats when they answer questions. I gave the parents herbal lessons and Pantene and, you know, fusion razors and stuff like that. And we had a great turnout. You know, a lot of folks that want to learn couponing. And it, it's a great thing to learn. So, hey, if I can teach it, then that's what I'm going to try to do. You know, what's that saying? Give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach a man to fish. That's sort of what I'm trying to do. It's the teacher in me. But here's my stockpile. It is buck empty. I used to have rows and rows of Pantene and Tresemme and Herbal Essence and Clear and Axe, Right Guard Body Wash. I had, I think at one point, like 20 fusions. I had, whew, I had a good stockpile of Charmin going. Look at that. I got one Charmin. One Charmin. Anyway, definitely need to build my stockpile. But I'm going to videotape it as I build it. And I'm going to move it into that closet so that you all can see it. I guess what my goal is, is for you all to see that, you know, you don't have to be an extreme couponer to stockpile. I mean, you can do this on your own. And it doesn't really take that long. I mean, I filled that cabinet twice, gave everything away, filled it again in like four months for no money out of pocket. Now I'm going to show you my laundry. Here's my laundry room stockpile. And that's probably the most of what I've got left. Everybody I know has those H-E uh, machines, so I couldn't give a lot of the Tide away for Christmas. And I'm kind of glad I love my Tide. Love my Tide. Anyway, there it is. Right now i got two, four, six, seven Tide and some big Purex. But you can see i got other stuff in here that needs to come out. And so that's where, that's my New Year's resolution is to clean and organize so that I can stockpile. One of my favorite YouTube videos is called The Green Apple Home. I love this chick on The Green Apple Home. She videotapes herself as she's doing projects around the house. And, you know, sure, I sit around and watch her instead of doing the projects myself, but she has motivated me a lot, and I really appreciate that. She's really cool. She's laid back, easygoing girl. She puts herself out there. She doesn't care. And, um, teaches you things like, you know, how to take the stains up out of the carpet and how to clean tile and and uh, how to organize. She coupons some too. So I really love it and that's what I want. I want a green apple home. Right, Jules? We're going to get a green apple home. Green apple perfect. What's that? So we're going to get everything organized and get rid of all the clutter and get the <laughs> stockpile all organized. Because, you know, a lot of people think that those big stockpiles on extreme yeah. couponing can't be done. But they can be done. They can be done. And it doesn't take a lot of effort. Well, it takes a lot of effort. I mean, couponing is, is a job, no doubt. But it doesn't take a lot of money. And once you do it, you know, like we were, t you know, like, have you seen Honey Boo Boo? The mom on there is like, you don't have to be a brain surgeon to be a couponer. And you really don't. I mean, you really don't. It, it takes a little practice. And it takes some guts to get out there with your coupons and walk in a store with your big binder. But everybody who sees you, they're like, yeah, good for you, cool for you. They don't mind being held up in lines. Heck, they, half the time they applaud when you save money. It's a tough economy. And, you know, if couponing's the way to get you through it, if couponing's what you need to do to help your family and bring blessings to you in 2013, then, then I highly, highly suggest it. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to videotape my progress. That's my 2013 resolution is to get this place organized and to get that stockpile built so that I can continue to give back to, you know, my school and to my family and to my community and, you know, just to be set. So big shout out to Living Poor for giving me this idea and for all those other great couponers out there. You know, there's, there's so many to be named. I made a how to coupon shout out video the other day. And if you're new to couponing, if you want some tips, I suggest you watch it and, you know, see what you can do. But until then, I am Gator Bond BC, and I do have a Facebook wall, Coupon Club 101 on Facebook, where I post lots of deals, mostly videos of great folks. And um, that's it. So next time I turn this video back on, I will have be one project done, at least one project done. That's a promise. So... Next time, I'll see you then. Peace out and go Gators.